Hey everyone, today I'm here at Pest Control to do a mini guide kind of thing because after spending about a little over a week, which is average time, depending on how much hours you put in a course, that's how it is for everything, to get the Void. Yes, the ranging armor people say is godly. Now, I will explain something quickly about Full Void. Um, it's not what people think, actually. Full Void is actually only a slightly better than uh, Black Dehyde or Blessed Dehyde. If you get a Full Void, it's good if you're not level 70, but if you're over level 70 range, you might as well stick with Black Dehyde unless you feel like training at PC and just getting it as a, like a little bonus. And if you get if you can get Armadile, Armadil, how you pronounce or model, how you pronounce it, full model, that is what you should try to get because that armor is godly for range. It is the ranging armor. Now I got it because I'm 60 range, and this armor will help me out a lot until I can wear black dehyde or something. But even then, once I get black dehyde, it won't matter until I can afford a model, which I actually might be able to by the time I have 70, but I'm not exactly sure. Depends on how much money I'm making. I have a few, obviously I'm a few mil now and I can afford things and do things, but I'm not like able to just poop out money and spend it on whatever I want, whenever I want, or else I'd be wearing full bandos right now with a party hat. But anyways, the purpose of this video is to basically show all of you who don't really know what pest control is or have trouble with pest control what to do properly. Now first thing is getting the pest control. To get here, you can either go to Draenor Village for you Telly there, Telly to Falador or Telly to Lumbridge. Those are the simplest ways. Then walk over, walk your ass over to um, Port Siren, how you pronounce it. I'm sorry, I'm bad with some names on RuneScape because they like to make things up. And you go to the bottom of the docks. It's the second from the bottom, and there's a squire. They're wearing what looks like Void, and you travel with them. It's free. You come to this little island, as you can see here, my little mini-map. Ah, it's a little laggy because I'm on a popula a very populated world. I think I'm in the one that's full, so I apologize for lag. But you come here, and you have the boats. You have that little empty one that's advanced. Intermediate's right there is a semi-full one, and the novice is the one over there with everyone on the bridge. I think about half those people are bots. But... You come here and you get on your bridge and you go into the game. Now, I'll explain the game before I do a one. I'll do one game in this video for you guys because I'm getting kind of tired of pest control. But you enter in this outpost and your job is to protect a void knight who is trying to weaken portals which release what are called pests. Pests are like abyssal creatures that are trying to destroy the outpost. Your job is either to defend the knight, kill the pests or destroy the portals and you can switch between them it all depends on what you're best at and what you, can, what you prefer to do now there are games where people don't even offend the knight and he dies and you lose and there's games where people defend the knight so much that the game takes forever and the portals die very slowly but you get you get um coins equal to your level your combat level times 10 so i get 970 coins per um, round in novice, which is the easiest. I'm not sure what intermediate and advanced is because I don't really play those ones because they're never really full. I'm surprised intermediate has people in the boat to begin with right now. But so you're doing that and you get your points, and you get your coins, and then if you once you get enough points, you could check. You go talk to a void knight on the island that has the exchange option when you right click them, and there's armor components, there is experience, and there is um, consumables. Consumables are herbs, minerals, um, void void summoning charms, I believe they are, and then there's the items, which are, well, the void clothing, such as the void knight armor, which I have. I have the ranging set. You can get the melee set, and you can get a mage set. And then there's experience, which is for only combat stats, from what I well, saw, unless they hide something under one of them. Prayer, range, defense, strength, attack, and health. So you can put points into whatever you'd like, depending on what you're training. Some people come here to literally get 99 strength just from doing this. I think they're kind of 
probably botting it because, well, this isn't exactly the best way to train a skill like that. Now, I'm going to pause the game real quick because I don't really want to show you me lagging to get over to the boat. But once I'm in game, I will unpause this. I have crossed the plank, and I'm now in the boat, and it is loading the island right now. I have my team of 25, and we're all in here. Alright, so basically what you do, you come in, you're off the boat, and you go down, and this is the outpost. This is the knight. That is a pest. And you kick his ass. See, he's dead. And these people are defending it, so good. We have defenders. Now, if you come over here, this is the western portal. Up here, you have the portals. This means that the portal has a shield over it, and you can't attack it. East, west, southeast, southwest. Health of the portal, etc. Now you attack the pests. This one's a ranger. Now there's two rangers. There's this, and then there's... Um, I can't see one, but I saw one attack. Ah, there they are. The torture. There's these. They're rangers. They, try, they mostly attack the guy. These are brawlers. You can't run through them. And these are shifters. They teleport themselves around, and they teleport, well, other monsters around. Ravager, they destroy gates and barriers, which keep them from getting in. And then there's one more. Ah, the ball things. Do not attack those. They blow up an explosion that hurts everyone around. And then there's lastly, there is what's a spinner. They look kind of like a jellyfish, in my opinion. But what they do is they heal the shield, and when they attack you, they not heal the shield, they heal the portal, and when they attack you, they cause poison damage. So you don't really you want to destroy them before they attack you or poison you. Oh, also prairie. Also, you don't have to worry about dying here because once you die, you just spawn back in the boat. You don't lose anything, which is actually really nice. Ah, melee armor. Now that was kind of a quick run through. I'm sorry if that was a bit rushed. Like I was afraid that these were gonna be destroyed before I could finish talking. But the game's pretty easy. As if you if you, if you get a good team, ugh, I can't talk. Mostly, you want to play with preferably level 60 and above that know what they're doing. If you're, pl like, this guy level 56, I don't really, I just think he's mooching right now because he's not really contributing. Oh, that's what I forgot. Ah, this is the life points of the knight on your team, and this is your honor points or how much effort you put into the game. You gain points in honor by attacking minions and attacking the shield. You need to get 500 to for the knight to say, ah, all the portals are destroyed and you have shown to do well congratulations here's your money and here's your commendation points it's really not that hard to get 500 literally what i would do for void is get 500 then afk literally that's what i did because i got so bored with this game i played it so much it just lost all interest with me and right now this is kind of boring but it's kind of fun i'm doing the vid so ah we won as you can see it's going back to loading Shields are down. I'm still sorry for the lag. This is a very crowded world in one area. And here's the commendations. Congratulations. We have awarded two Void Knight commendations. I now have two points. Woo! I had a lot of more points until I bought all this shit. And yeah, it takes a lot of work. But um oop, don't want to go that. No 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 no. Alright, I want to talk to the knight. I'll show you the exchange. Exchange the knight. Experience. I want to get prayer experience. Hold on. Ah, two prayer experience. Oh, I forgot magic. And then here's the things. Um, deflector is basically a shield. Void knight mace. These seals. You do not need the sealed seal for any of them. They don't do anything. A glory is what you should wear. I have it because well, I got one free for doing a quest that involves the void knights. I. Think it, I don't remember what it's called, I'm sorry. I did it with a friend. And consumables, the charms, and ah, seeds you can get too. Um, I did the quest and yeah, I got a seal. And then I bought another one because it's about 10 points. Mage Helm, Knight. What you want is to get either this, this, or this. That's the sets basically. Accommodation points and all that. So that's pest control and a kind of a speedy guide. I I believe I explained it well for you guys if you watched. Um, if you're not even looking for a guide, I hope you just enjoyed the vid. And where the fuck am I going? Um, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of want to do a vid for each 
minigame, but I hate selling minigames. Like, I hate Soul Wars, and I hate stealing creation. No offense to anyone that loves them, I just don't find them fun, in my opinion. Now, Barbarian Assault. Aw, oh, getting my torso is fun. I did that with my friend, PK Whips, or Obama, or the hell you know him by now. Um, I did that with him, and we got torsos, and it was worth it. Torsos are very nice. It's like wearing a Bandos top, except cheaper, and it has more invisible effects than Bandos. Except when I get full Bandos, I will be a claw rushing motherfucker. I will claw rush everyone, because I want claws. Because that's my dream, to be a claw rusher, which is why I'm trying to get 99 stir. But right now I have to get 75 attack for something that you may see this weekend. I plan on doing something special, my friends. And that's basically the video, in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed. Um, have fun pest controlling. There are pest control worlds, by the way. And there are clans that do nothing but pest control, so you can look for them. And that's... Pest control. What do you expect? You control pests. So, comment, subscribe, and good night. Or good day.